Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how we do the experiment at home. And the experiment I'm going to conduct is the experiment stated in the Form 5 KSSN textbook, which is the experiment 2.1 to investigate the relationship between the depth of water and the water pressure. Alright, okay, so the in this experiment, okay, so uh, we need the distal funder, which is, is the apparatus that uh, we should go back to school to use it. Okay, but now, okay, since they, uh, all of us, uh, we do it, uh, we study PDPR at home. Okay, so I think why not, okay, we uh, ask the students to uh, modify a bit for the conduct the experiment alone at home. Right? Also, it's a good practice for students to start, prepare for themselves SPN 2021. Okay, because SPN 2021, it will be the first batch to have the practical exam. So they're going to conduct the experiment alone. Okay, so why not let them try start from now? Okay, so now uh, the problem for this experiment is that uh, we doesn't have a distal funnel at home, so that's why I suggest that we can modify it. So uh, then we we replace the distal funnel with the filter funnel. Okay, the filter funnel that I suggest here, like the example like this one, there's a filter funnel that I suggest. So this filter funnel, okay, uh, you can buy from the any hardware shop or the two end shop, okay. So and then we cover it with the uh, lubber layer, cover the mouth, okay. So that we can, when the moment we immerse into into the water, the water doesn't get in. So but it still okay, have the elastic layer can uh, as let the air inside compress by the high water pressure when it immerse deep into the water. Okay. So uh, I suggest that uh, when you buy the this filter funnel, try to looking for the bigger diameter mouth so that uh. The bigger force by the high pressure, it will be make the bigger change in length for the, this YouTube. So if you use a smaller diameter, so the result change of length it may not that obvious. So you are having a problem to get a good result, right? Okay. Anyway, you also can uh, go and get this type of the uh, the source container, right? So you can cut it, okay, and then after that also same we cover with the. Uh, uh, balloon. Okay, we use the balloons as a lava layer. So, okay, then you can cover it, and then after that, here the most important for this one, the modified, we need a stick. We need the stick, hollow stick, which is is the hard stick, so that when the moment we immerse into the water, so it can uh, immerse vertically. If you if you straight away attach it with a attach it with a uh, soft silicon tube, uh, attach it with soft silicon tube, when the moment it immerse in water, it's hard for you to control. Okay, because it's, it's too soft. So that's why we need a stick so that it have a longer uh, filter funnel like this. So when the moment we immerse, it's easier for us to control. And this stick, you don't need to uh, specifically uh, go and file for any press or you feel hard to find. Okay, actually, you can use the example, the straw. The straw usually uh, when the children go and get the, buy the bubble tea. So come up with the, come, come together with the, this type of straw. And also, Sam, you can try to get it from the home. Okay, maybe that example, the, the shower cream or the any shampoo. Usually inside, we also have the, this type of the hollow hard tube like this. So you can use it for recycle and then modify it, it's recycle and then stick with the uh, filter funnel. Alright, so basically that is a preparation. Another one, uh, this serena tube, you can buy it from the any hardware shop. Maybe just get a two meter length is more than enough for you to use already, right? Okay, and then try to find a suitable place to stick it vertically, right? Upright. Example like this. If it doesn't have a suitable corner at your home to uh, hold the this uh to type the this uh YouTube vertically like this as I show, and then you can also modify from the recycle cover, right? Recycle cover and then you can stick it okay with on the recycle cover and then after that okay you press it uh with the masking tape or the mask uh lava side tape okay be better use the masking tape and then stick it on the wall so that you can okay easily take the result alright okay so there's a uh, another one modification you can be done alright so basically all this we get ready already so now. Okay, when the moment you fill the water into the tank, so this tank also can be used as a recycle tank, right? So, example, uh, you can get from recycle from the the kue layer or any plastic container as long as it's a transparent. Okay, because you need to see where you immerse, so you can't use a uh, opaque one. So, you must make sure it's transparent. Okay, so after that, you stick with the masking tape. You stick with masking tape and then label, 
the depth of the water you want to immerse. Okay, so now for the case here, I suggest you use a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that when you with the later on you plot graph, so you will have a really nice graph. Alright. Okay. So when you fill up the water, do not fill up until the maximum height as your level. And then also the bottom you have to left some space. Maybe you left one centimeter from the bottom or the two centimeters from the bottom, depends on the total height of the bottle that you have. Okay, so why we have to need some space from the bottom so that when the moment we immerse a this distal funnel or the or filter funnel into the uh, tank, we don't place it until the bottom. Alright, so we still have some space there. Alright, okay. So when the moment you immerse, okay, make sure you do not fill the water until maximum height because when the moment you immerse this into the tank, alright, so because the size is bigger, so it will depress some water. So it means that when, you, when the moment you immerse it, it depresses the water, so the water level actually will rise up. Okay. So that's why you have to try. You have to try. Okay. When you immerse it down, and then you have to see. So is that this the maximum high or not? Is this the maximum high already? It haven't yet, so you fill out the water. Until that, it is the maximum high. Alright. So they only can start. So before that, before that, you need to mark. You need to mark the initial level. Initial level of the UQ for the both side. Okay, so initial level, you mark it, and then when the moment you mark, make sure your eye level you have to control should be the same level as your water. Alright, so to avoid the parallax error. Same also later on every time when you take the result, alright, so make sure eye, eye level always control to get the accurate result to avoid by the avoid the parallax error. Alright, so now example I immerse it until the bottom here. So 25 cm as a label. So then after that, I can get a pen. I get a pen and label it here. This one for the 25 cm depth. So I mark here. So there is a design I mark. So I mark the design. Okay, when you mark the design, you have to. If it's possible, it's, you have to label. You have to label this one is for the 25 cm. 25 cm. So this one is the initial label. Zero, zero. Right. Okay, so that later on when you want to make, make sure your result, you don't get confused. Alright, so we continue with the 20 and then we mark here, mark, mark already, make sure eye level is checked until you finish the 5 cm. Okay, so now you have to remember when you lift up nearly to the 10 or 15, you have to always check. You have to always check the level of the water here. Is it still remaining at the high, maximum height here? If already less water because uh, less immersed, so the water level drop already, then you take the extra water to fill back, fill up back. To make sure remaining the same height as you mark here, the maximum height. Alright, so now the 5 cm and then you mark. So every time everything done already, alright, so once it's done already, okay, so now you can okay, so, so, so put the side first. Alright, okay. So this one I take it out, this masking pad. Alright, I take it out. So and then I place it here. Alright. And then after this one also I take it out, I, I change the position. So I make the zero and the zero mark here. I make the zero and the zero mark here. So then so now make it align. So after that I can use a ruler. I can use a ruler to measure the result. So after I get the result, I tabulate it into the report, right? And then I can put the graph. So I, from the graph I can study the relationship between the depth of water and the water pressure. I think that's all for the, this experiment. Thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, I hope that you could have can try it at home. Okay, see you. Bye.